Hello, and welcome to our second day of quarantined education on the internet. So it's our first day of Studio Art One online. So I'm gonna explain a little bit about how it's gonna work. I'll tell you what we're doing today and this week, and then uh, you'll be off and running making some art. So obviously we were doing our printmaking project in school. We are postponing that until whenever it is that we're back in the classroom. So starting now, we are gonna move on with a project that I did last year in my classes, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's the perfect thing to do when we're stuck at home and can't be in the classroom. We are gonna do a digital photography project where you can use a regular camera or your cell phone, and your cell phone works really, really well. I'd recommend that as long as you can take photos with it. But really any device where you can take a photo will work for this project. So we're gonna do something called the Alphabet Photography Project. This is something that's been around uh, on the internet for a couple of years now. Uh, it started by professional photographers and it's been taken up by students and people all over the world. So the Alphabet Photography Project is simply an image of the alphabet where each letter of the alphabet is a photograph of an object that looks like that letter. So if my video editing skills are up to par, I'm gonna put an example right here. Is it there? I don't know, I'm filming this before I edit it. Let's assume it's there. So if I uh, don't stink at editing videos, you're looking at an example of the Alphabet Photography Project. As you can see, it's the entire alphabet from A to Z, but every letter is a photograph of an object, piece of architecture, something from nature that when you look at it the right way, resembles one of the letters. This is what we're going to be making this week. So what I'd like you to do today is start this project by photographing the 10 letters of the alphabet that you can find around your home, outside, wherever it is that you are. It doesn't matter to me what you use or what your subjects are, as long as you don't use any real letters. So no uh, stop sign, that you can't use an S from there, you can't use any letters from a magazine or a magnet on your refrigerator, nothing that's a real letter, only an object that kind of looks like a letter. Hopefully now there are more examples up here. Uh, these are all examples from my students last year. So this can be done, can be done really well. What you're gonna do for this project over the course of this whole week is photograph 26 objects that resemble uh, each one a different letter of the alphabet. You're gonna then put them together either in a Google Doc, in a Google Slide, or any other app that you might have for editing photographs, if it's Pix Collage or whatever you might use. I don't care how you put them together. Somehow you're gonna get all 26 of your photos together on one image and submit it to me and I will grade that as your alphabet project. That'll be due at the end of this week. For today's assignment in class, I wanna see 10, 10, 10 photos of any 10 letters of the alphabet, the first 10 that you find, put them onto something, a Google Doc, a slide, and submit that as today's assignment. I'm then gonna give feedback as quickly as I can. I'll try to do it as soon as you post it on your 10 images so you can see how you're doing. And then our next class meets on Thursday. Hopefully you'll continue, do the rest of the alphabet, and put together your final project. These don't have to be the first 10 letters of the alphabet. They can be any 10, I don't care what order they're in. For today, it doesn't matter. I just wanna see that you understand the concept and that you're creating good photos. So what makes a good photo? I'm so glad you asked. Again, if my video editing skills are good, these are the things that are gonna make for a good photo. The first one is composition. Think about where that letter appears in your frame. You want the letter to take up space so it's large and it's facing the right direction. Don't give me a letter that's upside down or backwards. The second thing that you wanna make sure you include is good lighting. You don't want your photo to be too dark right, or too bright that you can't see what your photo is. The next thing that you wanna include is cropping. You might need to crop 
your photo so that the letter is really obvious. If there are extra things in the background or maybe there are too many you know, elements, crop it so that just that letter is all that's showing. The next thing you wanna make sure that you include is good focus. And this means that your picture is entirely clear, that it's not blurry, right? Blurriness can happen either if the camera moves while you take the photo, or if the focus or the aperture on your camera isn't on the right setting. So you might need to move it closer or farther away from your subject so that it's focused correctly. And the last thing that I wanna see is creativity. Have fun with this. But what that means is that you can't use the same image more than once. So if you have a W that you find, don't then use half of that picture for a V. Can't do it because you've already used that image. So use only each image one time. Now, if you have questions, please post them right on this, uh, on this post here. Comment right on this. I'll respond as soon as possible. I'm logged in the entire length of our class period. I'm also on a Google Meet video chat in the Google Hangouts app that I'll be in the entire period where we're supposed to be here for this hour. You can use the code StudioArt1. If you type that in, you'll join a live video chat with me. If you have any questions, we can talk in person uh, at any time. Log right in and I'll chat with you. There are other ways you can log into that if the code doesn't work or if you don't have the app. Those are in the written instructions below. Also, for attendance, please comment that just that you're here on this post so I know that you're, uh, you have signed in. And then when you finish the 10 photos for today, just uh, upload a document or a slide, anything with those 10 photos to the assignment that's posted below. If you don't get them all done and edited within this hour, that's okay. You can post that at any time during the day today. So if you finish it at five o'clock in the evening and you post it tonight, that's totally fine. I wanna see that you have 10 good quality photos. If you don't get 10 in this hour, post them whenever you get them. If you have questions, please ask me, and I hope you have a great time with this project, and I'll see you soon.